Hello everyone, in this video I'm sharing some of my favorite free resources that you can find on YouTube, different channels and such that you can use to incorporate in your homeschool journey however you see fit. Sometimes I like to sprinkle these in um, if we're studying a specific topic. Sometimes it's really nice to have a video for your visual and auditory learners just to kind of change things up a bit. Um, so yes, we're reading about them, we're doing different activities, but a video is just a fun little way to also learn about things. So the first channel is called Can Academy or Khan Academy. It's K-H-A-N Academy. And they claim to be a free world-class education for anyone, anywhere. So it's nice to search for that. I will say that's a little bit for older kids. Um, another one that we like to do is Crash Course Kids. And this one has lots of videos on science topics that I think keeps the attention of a, a broad range of ages. Uh, another one, it's very similar, is called Sci Show Kids, and that's also a science channel. It shows how things work and different questions to ponder, and it's really um, interesting and kind of keeps their attention, again, the different age ranges usually. Another one that can be educational and maybe a bit of a stretch is Blippi. My daughters love to watch Blippi, and uh, I do not enjoy it as much, but it does keep their in in attention and it does have some educational content. So they are learning some things. Um, usually he does videos about how things work. Uh, he might bake some cookies and he shows that process or he goes to a water park and asks lots of different questions and shows you different rides. So it's not necessarily always things that you're gonna be teaching, but sometimes it could be life skills or sometimes mama just needs a break and we can take a, a quick 30 minute break and watch a show that's not just vegging. There is a little bit of educational content in there as well. Another channel that I love is called Nat Geo Kids for National Geography. And they have, uh, again, this is for an older student. Your younger ones probably aren't going to have the attention span to uh, watch this. And this obviously has information on animals and they do have some documentaries that are pretty interesting, but they can be a little lengthy. So maybe uh, pre-screen those and find some clips that apply to what you're learning about and add those in there. Another resource that I think is really important, especially if you have younger ones, is called Have Fun Teaching. Uh, they have some counting songs and some alphabet videos. They even have some worksheets that you can um, use. So that's one to try out. One that I used even when I was teaching middle school science is called Kids Learning Tube and they have some super catchy songs. They have songs for lots of different things, uh, states, planets, parts of the body. I still have some parts of the body songs like stuck in my head from over 10 years ago. So it, it can be a little catchy uh, and you might be singing those songs for a really long time, but it is very engaging for the kids and it does help them to retain certain information. So if you are trying to memorize different like parts of the body for anatomy, or if you're talking about um, the planets or anything like that, where it's important for them to have specific names in their head, it's a lot easier to memorize and learn things through song. So that's one to check out. It's called Kids Learning Too. My youngest loves and my middle like uh, alpha blocks and number blocks. So those are great for ABCs and the numbers. So the alpha blocks, uh, they, they do a really good job of blending. So they each little alpha block will make it sound and then they hold hands and they blend together to make the word. I really like that. And then number blocks, it's nice because they have a physical representation of how many the number is uh, like they're like little cubes basically and they're stuck together in a way that you, if you count the cubes it's the number that they represent so if you're working on alphabet and numbers that's a cute little show and they have tons tons of different options um, to choose from another one kind of similar if you're got if you have students who or if you have kids who are younger word world is really neat because the objects in the videos are actually the letters of the word. So like a dog is going to be spelled out dog and the letters are shaped in such a way and squished together that that's, that's the dog that you're looking at. It's actually spelled. So that's really good if you're working on uh, letter recognition and trying to start to piece words together. That one's really fun. Kids Academy is another channel that we use sometimes. They have songs on there. They have information videos about community helpers. They have short videos with uh, well-known stories like Cinderella, Peter Rabbit, etc. And then, of course, 
We love to do yoga for brain breaks and stretches. Um, we view yoga as just a way to move our bodies. Uh, we do not buy into all of the philosophy and such behind yoga, and we do not believe in the whole emptying of ourselves and going into that um, deep, deep meditation state while you're doing yoga. Uh, we do yoga just for a physical way to relax and maybe refocus and sometimes get wiggles out. Um, so Cosmic Kids Yoga is a really good channel if you do yoga with your kids. And she actually tells a story. And as you tell the story, you do different yoga poses that go along with the story. So it's super fun. And then the last one that I'm going to share in this video is called Kids Art Hub. And it's actually an illustrator who shows you how to make drawings. So you start with